It's Friday. That means we're playing a game that costs $5 or less. This week's game is Armed to the Gears, which costs $3.99 and is currently in early access. Armed to the Gears is an isometric mech shooter that combines real-time strategy and tower defense elements. Okay, so this playthrough is going to be a blind playthrough. I have no experience with this game yet, although I did look at a little bit of video. Um, I want to go through the tutorial over here. And I took a look at the missions, and it looks like there's only three missions right now being in early access, so it's going to be eight eventually. So let's go through the tutorial and just see how things are set up. Alright, so it is a WASD game, but you can use the mouse to aim and turn, because typically WASD in a top-down or an isometric kind of game doesn't work out very well, but add the mouse movement in there, it helps. There's some armor upgrade, it looks like. Jet fuel. Alright, so I have some kind of a, there we go, I have some kind of propulsion, it looks like. And I have, I guess down here it shows that I have a machine gun and artillery. I only had the one shell, so I just wasted it there. I'm not sure what breaks and what doesn't break right now. I guess those do break. Credits? I don't know if... Let me see here. Alright, there's little upgrades and things it looks like here, but those cost energy it looks like. So credits must be for something else. Okay, now I got a laser gun upgrade. Warheads and artillery. Alright, these reactors must be your capture points. Upgrade generator. Open a deploy menu, which I believe is this. Upgrade. I guess that captures that too or something. Missile pad, so that that upgraded my uh, artillery. Oh, that's better. That has a good range on it. So the tutorial's done. The controls are pretty simple. So let me see what we got here. Docking bay. Alright, maybe this is where you make upgrades to your uh, mech. But I only have 8 credits, so it doesn't look, look, look like I can do a heck of a lot right now. So let's skip that. Let me see what else we got here. Uh, that brings you to the website. Game settings. I did go into that before I started. I just wanted to make sure I had the right resolutions and whatnot. Save and exit, and here's the campaign. So let's start the campaign. I think you have to do them in order by the looks of it. Area 1, Lower Downtown. It, 
I had set the music or the volume level to 60% and it changed back to 100. So I think I'm going to change it to, I'll go to 70, but all right, I'm going to mute the music because I think the music's going to be too loud. But I don't want to turn the sound down so low that there's no effects or anything like that. Okay, acquire and control a CO3 invasion unit from the Ministry's repair depot across lower downtown. Use the unit to overcome the Ministry base nearby and capture the Nutrium Reactor. Move forward to the Lost Rebel base and recapture it. Watch out for Sentinel unit guarding the perimeter. All right, let's go. All right, can I go through there? Yeah, I can. It doesn't look like there's any kind of a melee attack, so I guess you're going to have to be using your ammo to break stuff, but I think uh, I think the uh, left click, your basic attack machine gun, I think that's unlimited ammo. It looks to me like it um, maybe has a heat meter or something like that. So you can overheat and have to have a cooldown. Find out if I use it up enough. Let it go. Yeah, it seems to get higher, higher. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Looks like it takes quite a while to overheat it. these now. So I, I see I have 110 energy and it costs 10 to capture it and then it looks like it gives back 20. And I don't know if we're going to get more energy over time for the more of those generators that you have captured. I would assume you probably will. Alright, what else do I got to do? I gotta, looks like I got to capture one more. And on this um, bar down here, it looks like I have turrets. Barricade. Ooh, barricade. Let me see. Repair station. That must be for my mech suit. Carpet bombing. Nutrium rocket. So I'm not sure if this is going to get attacked or if they're going to try to recapture, but I'll throw a turret down here. Maybe, uh, let me see. A laser. Something that's not too costly. Yeah, they're coming already. So I guess you probably have to protect the areas you captured. Hopefully that's enough. I'm assuming it's going to be probably enough, because usually the early missions they try to make things pretty easy on you anyways. And it doesn't look like there's really any point in wrecking that stuff. I don't think I got anything for it. Big guy. Hey, how come I don't have a suit like that? Damn, I want one of those. Alright, it looks like you bust his armor off before you and then you gotta kill him after that. A lot of warheads. Yeah, zero zero missiles. So that's it. Okay. That mission's done. That was pretty easy. Alright, let's check out the next mission. Desert Base. And... Can't tell if the music is still muted or not. No, it's on. That button stays the same color. All right, what do we have to do here? Secure our base in the desert, raid both storage complexes for ammo and equipment, destroy the ministry's base located east, 
capture every neutrium reactor in the area. Okay, let's do it. And got one right here in the beginning. I have a tendency to want to try to move with the mouse on this. When I play top-down games like this, you know, because I just you know, play Titan Quest or Wolsen or Diablo, and I'm used to moving with the mouse, so sometimes if I'm just shooting for no reason, it's because I tried to click to move. Just have it. Looks like there's some enemies coming already. All right, I'll put up Target something flying. here. Laser. I'll put up two lasers. If I still have 90 energy. I guess I could afford to put another one up. How about a plasma? Approach. Let's hope I got him in a good spot. Alright, looks like I picked up the plasma gun upgrade. I'm gonna go down. I got a, some things to capture up here, it looks like, but there's something way over in this other corner. And you know, I don't even think I can get there. That's odd. Alright, not gonna worry about him yet. Oh, maybe I can go around this way. I to get them warheads. God, another one. It looks like I don't have that rocket launcher attachment anymore because this thing is more of a... It's more like a grenade launcher, short range. A little bit different. Alright, let me see what's over here. Shouldn't have come over here. I overheated my plasma gun. Alright, I guess he wasn't too bad. Alright, there's the rocket launcher. Okay, now I'll head back. Try to get to the objective. Okay, the rocket launcher it looks like. And... I wanted to see if there was a back way in, but I, I don't think there is. Nope, I gotta go in the other way. It's too bad you can't, like, hover with those jets. It's just more like a, a sprint type effect. There's another...
sometimes I can't hit them. It's like the shots just aren't reaching, even though they're like close range. What is this? Like a teleporter? I want to see what this Tesla thing is up here. Check on that. It's kind of awkward climbing these stairs. That's pretty cool. Some electrical attack gun. And I probably should put some turrets in here. Maybe I'll put two down. Oh, my God. I didn't break this base yet. My upgrades. Alright, so that whole area is captured, it looks like. One more reactor up here. Oh, I'm out of fuel. I was wondering why I couldn't sprint. Fuel zero. The uh, the interface is pretty small, and it's hard to see some of this stuff, but I was reading on the forums that they're planning on adding some kind of HUD scaling, so that would be a welcome change. That's it. I don't have to finish capturing these uh, generators. All right. Let's do the last mission. I think I can only do three. I'm going to check this docking bay again, see if uh, I got any credits to do anything now. I have 56 credits, and it looks like I could buy some warhead ammo. And that's about it. You can spend credits to purchase parts for your robot. And I don't know if I buy, like, um, the laser gun or a Tesla gun. I wonder if that becomes a permanent upgrade or if I can still change it out. So, oh, I can't do anything with that, I guess. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be the third and final mission. So, let's go check it out. And my sound reset again. So they're going to have to fix that. I turn it down, it turns... And now it's going in weird increments. It used to go 10%. Alright, that's better. Try to mute it again. Break into the Ministry's factory to acquire armament for the Rebellion. Destroy the Ministry's base located east. Capture every neutrium reactor in the area. Alright. do it. And so far, this is actually a pretty good game. I mean, it's a lot better than last week's. And for $3.99, it's pretty good. Alright, so there's one right over here. And I don't have my missile launch attachment either. I have the grenade launcher instead, I guess. That's not the best at taking those things out. I don't really want to use my warheads up. Only have ten. Grab some more here. Upgrades. 
Now this area here is like wide open. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to defend this area. The other places they had like choke points. I think I died. I'm gonna try to put some turrets up, but without anything directing them, you know these guys into my turrets. I don't know how good they're gonna be. Oh, how about a laser? range was a little better too, but let me see, maybe if I upgrade it, maybe it'll have a bigger range. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Do this one too. That might help. I'm going to put another one back here in case they come in the other way. How about a plasma? I think what I need to do is try to destroy areas that are spawning these enemies. Otherwise, I, I think I'm going to have problems. I am going to throw out one more turret. Why not? I'll just do a machine gun here on this one. And upgrade it. Now I don't have much energy left. I have to go capture something else, I guess. They took out my turret and didn't see that happen. I guess they could shoot over this over these rocks. Yeah, I thought I would get a little cover from that. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't know if I can hold this spot. Right, put something else in. I'm not going to put it there because they come by there, they're going to trash it. Try to put it here where they're coming up the ramp. How about a Tesla? See, I don't want to pick that machine gun up. I don't know if there's any way to prevent picking up like a lesser gun once you've upgraded to a better gun. This is a crap I ever needed again. Another machine gun in there. I gotta be careful of that. Right, I'm gonna try to start breaking up some of their bases or barracks or whatever they're called. And come on, maybe I can reduce the number of spawns that are out here. It's a plasma, I'm using a plasma. Ooh, there's the missile pad, I want to get that. I only have 20 energy. This is an area I might be able to defend a little bit better because there's actually like a choke point.
throw out here. Tesla. Out here, put it in the corner so hopefully they can't hit it too easy. Have to come in here inside, get in range of it. So far, that seems to be working. Looks like I'm kind of low on health here. Gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can build a repair station back here. Let's see. Oh. Alright, see how this works. Alright, I'm healing up. It's kinda slow. But I think I'm gonna need some more defenses up there. Too much stuff. Oh. Oh. How'd they get that? I didn't think they could hit that unless they're going over the wall. Back into my repair station again. Let's see if I can build from here, I'm not sure. That one works pretty good. find out where all these things are spawning from, otherwise they're just going to keep coming. They seem to be coming from this direction, so I'm going to head this way, see if I can find some kind of a base. It'll be right here, I guess. Now they're coming from that way. How did I get this stupid machine gun back? Alright, like right here, this is probably pumping out some enemies. And it doesn't look like there's a reactor in this one. Okay, hopefully that thing stays down. Looks like they dug a trench here to keep me out. Target flying. Oh, there's a big boy over there. I don't want to mess with him right yet. I see. I thought there was some red. Yeah, there is some stuff here. That'll reduce some of their artillery, I think. See, now I'm pretty low health again. I hate to waste money on this, but I think I'm going to build another pad. I just don't feel like running back to the other one. I'm going to have to fight my way through stuff anyways. Here, I'll heal up over here. I don't know if that's the best strategy or not, but I'm going with it. I need to find some hull armor. Alright, 100%. Not much energy. I 
think I'm gonna have to engage this uh, big guy here. up again. At least he's down. So I got a little bit extra use out of this thing. Come on. Slow going. Alright, let's get back at it. So, so far it looks like my other two capture points are holding. Not sure how. Let's try to get this one. Should get some good energy for these. up here. Maybe a couple of plasmas. Upgrade them. And whenever I put one of these upgrade circles down, it's a left click, same as my gun, so I end up shooting my gun at the same time, so you almost might need a different button for doing upgrades so that you're not just firing your gun for no reason. If I can go around this way, or if I have to go back over that bridge. Got one more to capture over here. As long as they don't retake any of the other ones. Ooh, supplies. coming up on it. There's some all armor. Oh, another big guy. this thing. Oh. Oh, I guess that's it. Let's go back. Alright, so this game's actually pretty good. I like this game. I kind of wish there was some more missions to play right now. It's not bad. For $3.99, pretty good deal. And it's still in early access, so I'm not sure, you know, sometimes things get screwed up, but the way they're going right now, it looks pretty good. So hopefully they keep on the right path. So this game I would actually recommend for the price. So that's it for this week. Next week I'll have another $5 Friday game for you. See you next time.